IFAC World Congress has been held every three years since 1960. In 2014, the IFAC World Congress came to Cape Town, South Africa, to be hosted by IFAC South African National Member Organization, SACAC, the South African Council for Automation and Control. This is the most prestigious event ever hosted by SACAC and the first time that the IFAC World Congress has come to the African continent. 2014 saw more than 1,900 participants make the journey to Cape Town from more than 60 countries, including eight other African countries. China, Germany, France, the USA and Italy each contributed more than 100 participants. I came from Japan, Brazil, Italy, Chile, Belgium, the United Kingdom, Nigeria, Poland, Portugal, and the United States. I'm actually from South Africa. We felt uh, very welcome in this country, in this lovely city, in this great country. For the IFAC World Congress in 2014, more than two and a half thousand papers were submitted by authors hailing from 73 different countries. Through a peer review process, 76% of these were accepted, resulting in nearly 2,000 papers being presented at the Congress. The papers can now be found online in IFAC's record of all its conference proceedings, Papers Online. The technical program included 11 pre-Congress tutorials, 11 plenary lectures, two special panel sessions, two sessions of a public lecture, and one youth workshop. In total, there were 326 oral sessions with nearly 2,000 oral presentations and 14 interactive sessions with 145 poster presentations. We have a fantastic team who has made sure that uh, no stone was left unturned to make sure that we attend to all the details and I'm, I'm very happy with the progress. Especially our NOC Chair, uh, Fernando Kamisani, and the Team for our African Agenda have been really great. The committee worked very hard, especially on the paper side, so the whole review process was quite intense. You can imagine how, um, you know, what type of, type of exercise one has to go through to get this all done. Properly reviewed, peer reviewed. Preceding the Congress, IFAC President Professor Ian Craig hosted a dinner for distinguished members, sponsors and guests. It is a privilege for me to welcome you to this IFAC President's Dinner, which is associated with the 19th World Congress in Cape Town. It's especially pleasing to welcome you all to South Africa. Sunday, August 24th saw registration open for the delegates followed by the start of official proceedings with the opening ceremony. Welcome in Africa! Wamkalaki de Africa! Major medals and awards, including the Giorgio Quatza and Nathaniel Nichols medals, the Industrial Achievement and High Impact Paper Awards, and the IFAC Advisor's seals were bestowed. Alderman Ian Nielsen, the Deputy Mayor of Cape Town, welcomed delegates to Cape Town. So once more, welcome to Cape Town. Please enjoy our city and return home safely. Thank you very much. And Minister Naledi Pando, the South African Minister of Science and Technology, officially opened the Congress. I'm absolutely thrilled to see the report the co-chair gave about the number of papers South Africans submitted for this conference. That's the kind of research productivity I'm very keen to see among scientists in our country. Welcome again and I hope you enjoy your conference. Thank you very much. IFAC has a, a mandate to promote the science of automatic control uh, amongst the world population that, that operates in this field. And it's, it's very important for us to have a uh, geographical diversity as well. So being the first time in Africa and the second time in the Southern Hemisphere, 
from that point of view, actually means a great deal. Uh, it's been a great conference, this one. There's a real landmark in IFAC history. This is the first time we organize an IFAC uh, Congress in, in Africa, and it's a real memorable event. So I've enjoyed it very much. We've had some fantastic plenary speakers already, and we've got some very good ones to come. For the coordinated control of multi-agent systems, we have much to learn from the collective behavior of animal groups. We would start with a demonstration of the smart bird. We will talk about impulses from nature that will increase the sustainability of automation of tomorrow. And uh, I'm uh, now so much involved in the activities to uh, introduce robot technology or uh, uh, remote controlled machine technologies uh, to the uh, disaster sites. I'm delighted to talk about safety critical aspects here for automation in, in aviation, both manned and unmanned. Plenaries were impressive, excellent choice of plenary sessions. The venue was, uh, was great, we liked it. The standard and the quality of the selection of the program committee was very high. Then I'll move on to one specific topic that's quite interesting. It's on the integration of large-scale renewables using high-voltage direct current technology. Today is really about a success story, so it's uh, trying to show what we can do when we collaborate um, with the industry. Results concerning the fundamental limitations and the maximum capability of the feedback mechanism. The MathWorks makes tools for control engineers and as such, uh, we're involved heavily in all sorts of different industries, aerospace, automotive, consumer products. I've enjoyed the technical sessions that I've been to some pretty impressive plenary sessions that have happened. So our goal in a nutshell is to manipulate the dynamic behavior of living cells using real-time dynamic feedback control. Uh, Honeywell's perspective on bridging the gap between planning and control and some of the work that we've done in this area. Uh, so Alice is a completely autonomous vehicle. Uh, it was built by a bunch of Caltech undergraduates, about 75 Caltech undergraduates working as a team. In addition to the plenary lectures, there were well over 300 sessions throughout the week, as well as technical tours to facilities in and around Cape Town where cutting-edge methods and technologies of control are actively implemented. The exhibition floor hosted the interactive paper area. In addition, there were booths hosted by publishers as well as entertaining and educational displays of control technology in action. It looks great. Um, I'm expecting that this will be uh, yet another great conference in the tradition of the IFAC congresses. But this one is going to be particularly special because I'm African and it's coming to Africa. But I'm looking forward to catching up with old friends, people that I haven't seen in a long time. The social program of the Congress consisted of the welcome reception after the opening ceremony, the Congress banquet at the Greenpoint Park, It's been a very good conference. This conference is a very uh, special experience for me. <laughs> uh, very good conference. So far, I, uh, all I can say is the experience has been wonderful. Uh, and hopefully, uh, the next one uh, in France would be really good too. It has been wonderful. I went to the beach yesterday and I was wowed. And the conference has been really entertaining. I'm enjoying myself. And I've met lots of wonderful people here. I like the opportunity of meeting uh, new people and I like, of course, the, the talks that I'm seeing and the poster sessions and uh, I'm learning uh, a lot. I'm learning uh, new, uh, new things about control and I'm meeting also new people. That's what I like the most. 
and the farewell reception after the closing ceremony. Public lecture, a display of the development potential of quadricopter technologies by ETH Zurich, was enthusiastically received by both the delegates and the public as acrobatic flying vehicles demonstrated both the importance and potential of control technologies in spectacular fashion. The closing ceremony marked the end of another successful IFAC World Congress. Our vision is for IFAC to be the worldwide federation for promoting automatic control for the benefit of humankind. I want to call on the leadership of IFAC and on the automatic control community at large to live this vision. If we do this consistently and with integrity, I believe that there is no limit on the impact that the automatic control field can have on the world that we live in. I thank you. IFAC 2014 officially came to a close as the gavel was handed over and the banner for the next triennial congress in Toulouse in 2017 was unveiled. The thing really that I'm looking forward to is to have many people coming into to Toulouse, enjoying Toulouse, but also having some special uh, features during the IFAC World Congress. It sort of will be a bit special because it's 60th anniversary of IFAC and many of the issues that were highlighted in the strategic planning um, exercise will be carried forward by my successor, uh, Professor Yanan Zaitun from France, which is, which is very nice. So we have continuity in, in the activities of IFAC as well. We are looking forward to welcoming the IFAC community and colleagues in Toulouse to celebrate the prestigious 60th anniversary of IFAC. We are looking forward to organizing a very successful congress as this one and we are looking forward to have the IFAC family with us and to have IFAC always being as strong as ever.